We are living in the era of Gen Z. Everything gets delivered in minutes. You name it, you get it. Especially for cities like Bangalore, Delhi or uh, NCR or Mumbai or anywhere in the world nowadays you know the delivery guys uh, deliver like within like 3 minutes or 5 minutes right but same thing how can we get a job in the biotech industry faster super fast so fast that even before we have passed out they hire us now in my previous many of the videos i have told you about the um, steps to take but today this video is all about mindset shift how exactly you can start thinking differently which will help you get absorbed into the biotech industry not just in your country but anywhere in the world this video unlocks that this video is a deep dive into all of that and at the end i'll give you some important actionable insights all right now science is all about asking the right questions okay for example if you ask the wrong question to google do you think google will give you the right answer it won't right same with chat gpt right but each time the technology shift happens you have to start asking questions from scratch and that is where the four questions which you have to ask we are going to divide this video into four parts four questions we have to ask for everything in biology okay and then we will be looking at the computational side of biology all right so the first part is why why things happen this way why not that way right so asking the why asking the root cause of anything for example what led to the development of immunotherapies why are the uh, certain cancers uh, resistant to immunotherapy and that led to the development of immunotherapies and precision oncology these approaches um, developed into companies like genentech and merck right now asking questions like why do some patients not respond to vaccines while some of them well they f- respond to the vaccines right so this prompted to the development of mrna vaccines and again the same question why do we need a weakened virus as a vaccine why can't we just uh, you know duplicate or replicate the rna or dna right so mrna vaccines and personalized vaccine strategies right next why do antibiotics fail against superbugs right these kind of questions so you have to start asking these why questions well while, while you're still studying right and you have to start finding those answers using ai chat gpt google do research study research papers and this mindset shift will help you get a job why because when you will go into the industry and the moment these kind of question comes you'll crack it in the interview right so start asking the why now coming to the second part of the video why not why not these things happen for example why not use crispr to cure genetic diseases why not make meat without animals why not deliver drugs without um injectables right so asking the why not right now these kind of why nots are leading to problem solving startups for example upside food and eat just um they're living they're developing cultured meat right so these cultured meat are using animal cells we are not killing the animal then we, uh, for crispr we have uh, we have we are seeing the growth of crispr therapeutics right so when you are when you are asking why now you have to start asking why not now coming to the third part you have to ask how how to develop sustainable solutions how to develop solutions for the world for the industry why how we can we deliver rna uh, safely into cells how can we deliver um, uh, fusion proteins into the mitochondria how can we uh, reduce the time from drug discovery to market how can we detect disease faster earlier even before it happens right so the moment you ask this how okay and all of this should start while you are still studying right how can i how can i why not why all of these questions has to be asked now let's move on to the next one let's say how not to right so this will hi- uh, help you identify pitfalls this will help you identify the ethical boundaries right for example how not to cause off target effects in gene uh, editing how how not to overuse antibiotics in livestock how not to ignore patients diversity in clinical trials how not to make mistakes while delivering the drugs right so when you start asking these four questions 
you will get answers. Now we'll come to the next part where we'll say, okay, how can we, right? So when once we have these mindset shifts, so why, why not, how, and how not to, right? Once we have this mindset shift, now the question to be asked is, how can we start looking biological problems from the eyes of a computer, from computational side, how from the computational angle? That needs to be answered. So these things will help you get hired faster, right? So for example, understanding the disease mechanism. How do you do that? So why not? Why do certain genetic mut mutations lead to diseases like cancer or Alzheimer, right? How can we solve this problem? We can simulate the approach. Let us understand the protein folding, the misfolding using AlphaFold by DeepMind, right? How to use pathways to enrich the analysis to identify disrupted protein networks. This will help us understand why exactly a gene mutation leads to a disease. Now let's look at another aspect of computational tools for biology drug discovery, right? How can we find and validate drugs targets efficiently? How can we repurpose faster? How can we develop newer drug molecules faster? So, of course, the computational way will be virtual screening, AI models development, simulating the pharmacokinetics and dynamics. Now, these things industry wants, industry also is looking for. If you are ready, you are one step ahead of the industry. See, your university or college is not making you ready for the industry. This video, if you watch till the end, you will realize that it will put you one step ahead of the industry. And that is where industry will hire you faster because you bring in cost-effective approaches. For example, in drug discovery. Now, just to give you an example of this, Biotechnica has started an AI ML in bioinformatics and biology, which is starting from this month. Okay, Details are given in the description. Now, just to give you um, a glimpse of it, this particular internship has three parts. The first is training which is for one month to 45 days. Then is the interview and test and then you start a Swedish company based project. Okay. And it, all of this is online, right? And you can choose the, the tenure of the project it can be six months or one year or three months. And then you get real world work experience. You solve a biological problem using computational tools. You learn why, why not, how and how not to, right? And all of this combined in one place. And that is why Biotechnica has this AIML in bioinformatics internship details in the description. Now let's come back to the third aspect of computational way of looking at a problem, a biological problem. So genomics and personalized medicine. We have seen this. Oncology demands personalized medicine, right? Because every patient is unique. So how can we personalize the treatment based on person's genetic profile, right? We can do the genetic gene genome sequencing using, using NGS and then we can analyze using machine learning and then we can predict the patient specific drug responses and then we can develop predictive models for polygenic risk scores and that way we can develop better personalized medicine. Let's look at the, another problem from a computational way. Cellular behavior and pathway modeling. So cellular, all the cells okay, behave differently in a group as well as they keep moving from one part of the body to other. So how does a cell decide whether to divide, whether to die or the, whether to differentiate? Right. So we can create uh, agent based models and Boolean networks modeling of signal pathways. We can do single cell RNA sequencing data clustering to infer the cell states. And then we can move to the next level where we do microbiome analysis. Right. Again, we are solving a biological problem using, using computational way. Now, all of this helps you get ahead of the industry. All of this helps you get hired faster. You're solving the biological way, the computational way, right? Biological problems, the computational way. You're asking the why, the why not, how, and how not to, right? Another uh, aspect, the other day I was meeting an uh, epidemiologist, right? So how, he, he asked me, how can we use AI in public health, right? So how does a disease spread across populations? It's a big science, right? You can become an epidemiologist, you can get a government job, but you can use AI. So government will also hire you. So you can use predictive models for SEIR frameworks for pandemics, right? You can use GIS and big data analytics for out outbreak tracking. And you can develop simulations for intervention of strategy and vaccination policies, right? So this is next level, right? Coming to neuroscience and brain mapping, right? What if you use computational tools, brain computer interfaces, 
to develop better tools for the brain, right? Or you could give uh, superhuman abilities to the brain, right? So how do brain, brain regions interact? How they encode the behavior? How exactly we can create a bridge in between the brain and the computers? Because the most advanced organ of our body is brain. And the most advanced tool we developed is a computer. How can we bridge, bridge that? Even that can be learned in um, Biotechnica and of course this internship which I spoke about. Now, the last one and the most important one which is putting food in our plate, right? Agricultural biotech. How can you solve this problem, right? So how can we enhance the crop yield and resistance? So we can analyze all of that. What are the factors which is governing the growth of a plant, right? And we use AI and data prediction and modeling to do the genomic selection models using machine learning. We can do trait prediction from genotype phenotype maps. And then we can use CRISPR off-target analysis using in silico tools for wet lab validation even before the wet lab has happened we can do the validation so all of this can be done using ai machine learning and this is where the mindset shift i was telling about this is where i was telling that hey instead of going the usual way which everybody's following you do bachelor's you do a master's and then you go back and uh, struggle for a job instead do a mindset shift instead do a project at biotechnica and instead get placed into top biotech pharma companies now remember the new age companies are no longer just core biotech okay or biopharma there are many companies like google amazon meta they are also investing in solving biological problems the computational way so this mindset shift has to happen once you have started asking how how not to why why not well you are going to be a champion of this industry. That's how you can get, get globally hired anywhere in this world, right? So we have this AI ML in bioinformatics and biology happening by the end of this month, okay? Seats are limited. We take only 15 to 20 students, right? And then the project happens because it is one-to-one, -one, we can't take everybody. So only those who contact us faster, sooner, may get a chance, but there'll be an interview. Our team will talk to you. They will see if you really have the mindset shift which I'm talking about in, in this video, then only you will get that mission. So go ahead, uh, register yourself uh, for this course. Okay, link in the description. You can chat with me and the scientists uh, through WhatsApp as well. And remember, if you do this small mindset shift while you're still studying or while you're still looking for a job, the industry is going to reward you with higher salary packages so what are you waiting for go ahead enroll with us and i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye